Wolf gang done, never lagging. 2K bills to the fraction. Breaking it down to the pampers. News and views on tips to get you cracking. It don't stop till we on top. With brick by brick, we got a bill. Give a like and drop us up. This Wolf gang done, you know it's real. Never chill. No. Sauce it up, we stacking, getting bills. Keep the traction, getting badges. 2K champ, this how it feels. This the dawn, yeah. Running it up, no time to play. You know what's on, yeah. The greatest builds inside 2K. So before I even hop into the builder, man, I go to the my team so I can actually get a good look at what this type of build would actually look like. So obviously I'm going with a 6-3 build. I'm going to go with about 200 pounds point guard position. We're going to look at some of these actual attributes, man. The driving layup is pretty high. Uh, post control is decent, but I'm probably not going to end up putting any post control on it. Mid range is good. Three point shot is crazy high. Uh, standing dunk, I'll probably give him a little bit uh actually driving dunk i'm i know for a fact i'm not gonna be able to get all of these stats but that's all right man pass accuracy decently high um the block i know i'm not gonna give him 80 blocks i'm gonna try to make sure i get that perimeter defense kind of high just because you know you want to have a build to be balanced uh the speed 95 i already know the speed is not gonna go to a 95 it'd be 6'3 and 200 pounds unfortunately we can't make all of these builds exactly you know as they are on my team or even in the nba uh, stamina is a 95. I'm pretty sure I can get that. Lateral quickness is a 95, but that's pretty much the same thing as uh, as perimeter defense. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. And honestly, this Kyle Lowry over here ain't looking bad. I might have to make that build next. I got that one coming. I got y'all boys for sure. First things first, make sure you go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm dropping bangers. All of 2K22. Go ahead and join the Wolf Gang. You know what I'm saying? But all right. Today, we got a Jeremy Lin type build. I know y'all remember that little crazy little, I think it was like 11 games or something, period, where Jeremy Lin was just going crazy. This build is inspired by that. And one of my subs asking for a Jeremy Lin build, my boy, here you go. All right, first things first, we're going to put that at point guard. Handing this up to you, jersey numbers up to you as usual, man. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. With the body settings on this build, I actually went with Jeremy Lin's body setting, you know what I'm saying? 6'3", 200 pounds. I didn't look up his wingspan, but I'm going to go ahead and go with 6'7 just to make sure I can get the best defense on that build. And with the body type, we're going to go with Defined. Now, for the finishing man, for the close shot, we're going to put that up to a 46. I know that's not high, but he really wasn't in there like that, you know, under the rim or nothing like that. But for the driving layup, we do have to show my man some respect. We want to make sure we get that giant slayer because dude was going crazy. And with the driving dunk, we're going to give him just enough to get those quick drops, man. Make sure you go up to that 65, do the build right. All right, for the mid-range, we're going to go with a 75, which is more than enough, man. Mid-ranges are super easy to hit. As long as you ain't trying to do them difficult shots, joints with a low mid-range. We're going to put the three-point shot up to a 90. For the free throw, man, we're going to go with 74. Do not ever leave points at the line, my boys. Make sure you always make your build with free throw because you don't want to, like I said, leave them points at the line. For the pass accuracy, we can go with an 83. And I know we just a couple away from 85, but I looked at like the My Team card and I saw a lot of his stats and I tr I'm trying to mirror those as best I can. 82 with the ball handle. Now speed with ball, we're only going to go up to an 80, which is just enough to get that quick first step on goal. Now time for the defense. I actually went kind of crazy with the defense because on his My Team card, he actually has some very solid stats on defense. So with the perimeter defense, dude had a 95. I don't know if I agree with that, but hey, man, we're going to go ahead and follow, I guess, the footsteps of what's out there, the best version of Jeremy Lin that's out there. You know what I'm saying? We can go with a 61 for the block. We're going to go with a 72 for the defensive rebound and a 65 for the offensive rebound. Now, moving on to physicals, man, we're going to go with an 88 with the speed. For the acceleration, we're going to go with an 87. The strength, we will give this man some strength with a 50. We got all those defensive badges. You want to make sure you can properly utilize that clamps on Hall of Fame. So you're going to need some strength on this build, my boy. Sorry, we're going to go with a 50 for the vertical. And then for the just put the rest on stamina. And that'll give you a 97. Now, we're going to check out some of these takeovers, man. We do get sharpshooting, playmaking, and lock take. So I'm going to go with playmaking as the primary. And then we're going to go spotter precision. Hold on, playmaking as the primary. Then we're going to go spot up precision for the secondary. And the build comes out as a two-way three-point playmaker. Shades of Fred Van Vliet, Lonzo Ball, and Baron Davis. 
I know I couldn't get his name in the shades of. I tried. I tried everything. I, I think some players just aren't in there, but that's neither here nor there. But all right, we can go ahead and edit this build or test this build so I can show you some of the badges that I'll put on this build to make it the very best it can be. So for the finishing on this build, I'm kind of going with more of a finesse type of build, a build that can, you know, get those Euro steps, really be, you know, out there playing among the trees and finishing successfully. So this is what we're going to do. Acrobat, we're going to put that on gold. Um, if you don't know how to Euro step, I suggest you look at those 2K tips, start practicing that if you want to make this build. And I think it'll make you a, a different type of player. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go limitless takeoff on bronze. That's just so we can actually utilize those quick drops. If, if you want to use those. Uh, Unstrippable, we can go with bronze as well. Slithery Finisher, we're going to go with gold. And Giant Slayer, we're going to put that on silver because a lot of times on this build, you're only 6'3", you might be going up against somebody a little bit taller than you. And for the shooting badges, this is exactly how we're going to do it, man. We're going to go with a gold blinders, a gold dead eye, a gold stop and pop. You want to make sure you definitely have that stop and pop. You know, assuming that if it's your play style difficult shots, we're going to go with a silver. Hot Zone Hunter, we're going with gold. That's really the highest you need Hot Zone Hunter anyway. And Sniper, we're going to go Hall of Fame. And I know a lot of people say stuff about Sniper, but I love that badge. I put it on almost every build I have as high as I can get it. And with the playmaking badges, we're going with a silver bullet passer, a bronze hyperdrive, gold quick first step, of course, gold stop and go. I don't know how y'all feel about stop and go, but I love that badge. I think it makes your player just move more fluidly. You definitely get those real glitchy change of direction things that people complain about with just the left stick when you have stop and go on. So make sure you're using that badge. And if you haven't, I would suggest giving it a try. Unpluggable, we're gonna go with silver handles for days. Silver space creator, we're gonna put that on gold. And tight handles, we're gonna put that on silver. And all right, time for the defensive badges, man. We are gonna go with ankle braces on gold. I like chase down on bronze. It just makes the game more fun. I know Jeremy Lin wasn't chasing nothing down, but I like to have the badge because it makes the game more fun for me. Hustler, it'll help you improve those loose balls, man. Just trust me. A lot of those times where you get those poke balls and you and the offensive player kind of fights for it, this badge will help you get it more. Uh, Menace is a very important badge. If you are a good on-ball defender, I would highly suggest putting that on. Tyler's defender speaks for itself. Ball stripper, I put that on silver. Clamps, I put that on silver. I really don't run clamps that high anymore. Like I used to, but I don't do it now. Interceptor, I'm going to put that on Hall of Fame. Intimidator, bronze, and then pick dodger, I'm going to put that on gold. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the defensive badges, man. Let me know if there's any other builds y'all want to see. I'll do my best at creating them. Y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comment section, man. But it's your boy, Don, and I'm about to here. But before you get up out of here, make sure you do me a favor. Go ahead and like this video if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos on the channel, man. I got some absolute bangers. But yeah, I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. It's your boy, Don, and I'm about to here. Peace. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby down to take a flight to me They think that I'm stunting but it's slight to me Piling paper got them talking nice to me Guess that's why the label